Well, Farmer Evo Extreme here. Here we're looking at all the new mods for the 27th of May, 2024. And yep, yeah, this is going to be coming out a day late. Yep, yeah, couldn't do anything about that. But anyway, so time taps as always will be found down below. And yeah, we're starting off with it's technically classified as an update, but it says version 1.0. I don't recall seeing this on the mod hub before, and this is the small workshop, garage, and gas station for your farm. This is by Doodoo. 17.96 megabytes to download, 39 slots on console, and yeah, so this is a vehicle workshop. It also has a fuel tank, so you've got 15,000 litres of fuel. And yeah, you can either unload fuel here, and as well as you can purchase diesel and that. But yeah, a handy little bit of kit, so turn on the PDA. Got your light switches over here. And actually, I like how this looks like. It's like a circuit breaker and that. And yeah, the light just turns on. Got a little helper over here, a little mechanic. Workshop trigger is here, and yeah, overall, lovely bit of detailing, absolutely love that, and yeah, you'll find this on our build mode, under tools, and yeah, towards the end, 25 grand to purchase, there's no colour options or anything, day maintenance of 10, and yeah, slot count, as I mentioned, for nice slots, goes down to 2 after you purchase your first one, so yeah, overall, not too bad. Do love the little. It's just it's not brick and mortar, but they like the pan and that, like the wearing out, the weathering. Do actually enjoy that. So, that is the small workshop, garage, and gas station for your farm by Doodoo. Next. Now for the workshop, this is by Celebuki. 21.98 megabytes to download. It is 35 slots on console. There are. 21 color options and yeah maybe look like your typical american style workshop in that but this is something that rarely we see with comes to all the vehicle workshop mods and that is that's the ability not only just to repair and customize your equipment on the farm but also have the ability to sell said equipment or return it if releasing as we i've got here i've got a combine harvester got the New Holland CR1090 and that. So yeah, you can sort of see the scaling in sizes and that. But yeah, so you've got your gates over here. And that will close your rolling doors. But yeah, awesome bit of kit. Do love like, these little detailing bits. So yeah, workshop triggers over here, as I mentioned. And yeah, that's you have a look. So look in the bottom left, you got paint, repair, customize, and return or in the case of we own this, it'll be selling, so yeah, we can just sell whatever equipment. A light switch is over on one of these walls. Can't remember which one it is, I think it's this one over here. Yep, so on to the end. Lights on and off, that turns on your inside and outside lights. And you You'll find this under buildings, under sheds, and yeah, workshop. Yeah, a bit expensive, I'll admit. 100 grand to purchase. And as I mentioned, there are 21 car options. For five slots, goes down to two. And yeah, overall, it's not too bad that. But yeah, you've got all your car options, so just go through those. Got all different, like, bright colours and that. Even some, like, mellow colours and that, so. I'm sure there's going to be a colour section here that will suit to your fancy. But yeah, 100 grand that. A very customizable in the way of a workshop in that. It builds yeah, the ability to sell your own equipment. Again, that's not something you commonly see on your vehicles in that. Or not on your vehicles, on your uh, workshops and that you'll get on the mod hub in that. So yeah, awesome bit of kit. And yep, yeah, this is the workshop by Celebuki. Next. Now on to something that has been really scratching my brain. This is the Swath Roller by H-O-F-F-I or Hoofy. 1.83 megabytes to download, 
two slots for console. And yeah, it says on the mod hub, on mod hub description, it's a roller used to push down your swaths to prevent wind drift and keeping hot machine parts away from your dry crops. But yeah, so something like that in real life, yeah, sort of makes sense that. And yeah, even browsing through the pictures on mod hub, I do really see a compacting effect and I have been testing this. See, so yeah, I spent what well, good 20 minutes on this, tested it. Because, yeah, there's a couple of things that is a bit peculiar. So, first of all, you'll find this under Tools and Miscellaneous. Go towards the end. 3,850 to buy. It says got a 500 to 1,000 litre capacity. So, 500 litres as is. And a 1,000 litres for your extra storage boxes on site. And the roller itself, you've got an options of cylindrical, conical, and back to cylindrical. You've got extra lights in that, worn signs, or both. Maker option, so let's pick a blue. That would change your actual roller. Your design color would change your frame, and your design color will change the boxes on the side. And yeah, it says weigh 700 kilograms. Working speed of 12 miles an hour. It's got a fill type of pretty much all your basic liquids, so your waters and that, diesel, milk, fertilizer and herbicides. But yeah, like I've been testing this and I cannot get this thing to work in that. For a couple of things, so first of all, let's go and put this on. I tested this as a roller for your field in that, but nothing. Also, the fuel type it says 500 litres in here, half the capacity, but there is no other trigger to get the rest of this filled up. I've used multiple things. I've used these like fill silos and that. I've purchased liquid pallets and that. I've used the water fill points you can get as base game. Absolutely nothing's working to get that extra 500 litres, so yeah, I'm not too sure on that. But yeah, also it says on the mod hub, capacity roll. It's got a thousand year capacity, I don't know. But yeah, it says it's got your cancers and that, 820 liters. So yeah, I can still see the cancers here. You know, these little cancers, 20 liters each. Makes sense in that. But yeah, so... Actually, I'll name you. So this takes to the store that. So if you've got water in the main roller, so we should be able to fill this up with other things. But yeah, so nothing's there in that. Alright. Actually, we should have something on base game that. So let's go to our containers. Yeah, let's get a small fuel tank in that. Mark that down. And I want to put some diesel in there. So in theory, we should be able to fill up the other sides. Okay, we're filling up the tractor, that's good. But yeah, it's like... Nothing's... Yeah, folding and folding. That's getting side stand, but... Yeah, we don't want to refuel, we want to fill. And yeah, I just don't know what it is in that, so... Yeah, I don't want to refuel. But anyway, so... Yeah, that's pretty broken that, and I think this is more of something as for role playing than anything else, so yeah. In terms of it, the actual roar itself, so elbow next, as we see, unfolds and fold. Got your lower the roller. Let's see, it does roll. Lift up, elbow and R1. It says unload here, but I'm pressing it and nothing's happening. So tab yeah just goes through that and then quickly closes so I'm not too sure anyways let's actually test it for as it is for the swath and that so I've got some decent swaths here so first of all let's test this so we should see this rolling and it's not doing that you know, going back and forth now, if it's a normal roller, that would have been compacted. Yeah, generally the idea behind it 
makes sense, but for role playing, fair enough. But for terms of practicality and actual usability, it is absolutely useless. And that so, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, it's a bit of a disappointment, really. I was looking forward to something like this, and that. But yeah, yeah, at the end of the day, a bit of a disappointment. I say it's more for a role playing aspect. But anyway, so that is the Swath Roller by Hoofy. Next. On to something a little bit different. This is the Lizard PZK765 pack. This is by Schweischker Prezes, or Prezes, sorry. 11.34 megabytes to download. And, yeah, essentially what is this is a windbrower or a tether net. Comes with these little attachers and that. But yeah, so I think this is the, by looking at the description that, this is the lizard version of the PZK 7-65 pack. Also by the same model and that. But yeah, so looking at the description for both of these. Driver's headers rates and that 5, 6, 7 stars. So meter, meters and that whatever. And it says produced at the Harvesting Machine Factory in Plog. So yeah, I'm not sure is Plog a brand. I'm guessing it's got to be a brand or something. But regardless, so we're looking at this. And uh, yeah, in terms of slot camps, that is five slots for the rakers and tethers, two slots for the attachers, and it comes in a three, three and a half, and a four meter working width. So guessing stars, it can't be feet because there's like three feet in the meter and that. So guessing the stars are these here so you got one two three four five one two three four five six seven and yeah I think that's one here is six one two three four five six so but anyway so you'll find this under your tools under wind rowers and yeah got your piece of case here but yeah so look, looking at branding like the piece of case seven stars is a lizard brand. However, these are the Fint or Fint, whatever branded. And that's a licensed mod on FS. See them in FS19. A few brands of these in FS22. So, why is that different to that? I do, honestly, I don't know. But yeah, so three, three and a half, four meters. All working speed at 11 miles an hour. Of course, 350 horsepower. I'm oh, sorry, not 315, 50 north power to weighs between 439 and 337 kilograms. And you're gonna need this attacher to attach this to your tractor, to the wind rover and tether. So you got your seven here, and the five six goes into one. Main color options, so you got your reds, your greys, greens, blues, yellows, and an orange, and even ivory. But yeah, so in terms of configurations, all these are exactly the same. So yeah, for your functionality, you got your wind rower or tether. It changes nothing besides from the functionality. Reflection, so you got reflection, down plug, and reflection. And so having a look at is I'm guessing the reflection on the model net. Oh yeah. So yeah, the little reflectors at the front of here, so you got that's orange, red, fair enough. Then you got your frame height, so you got your short and your high. So that is the little roll, depends on what you use. Your tablet, so you got your one, two, three, and back to one. And again, these are some very small, minor changes you can see. But regardless, frame color, so pick a green or a bit of a turquoise blue net but yeah so that's changed your frame the color of your stars so let's pick a orange and then your color for the plastic chain guide so that's gonna be these here at the back so you got your ivories black and your white ish grays and then you got your ring colors just pick a blue and that is it. So, let me get us hooked up. 
see how this would attach normally so it'll come on like this so it'll come separately and what I would do personally that is want to be careful of this because this will flip over and phase through if you try to dump it into the ground so we'll place that here because these two my other little rectile, rectile circle is these are going to connect together and we just back up our massy. Yeah, I know we're using a bit of a modern tractor for it. But yeah, so see, it attaches. Yeah, you've got options to fold, unfold, turn on, like so. When it's in its folded position. But yeah, so. That's on. L1, R1, nothing like that. So just a simple. It's a very simple machine. I think this is the tether I've got. Yeah, this is the tether. So, so see, we are tethering. And if you turn it off, it does nothing. So, I actually do like that quite a bit. So, see, we're just about tethering now. I can actually manage these swaths quite well. Even though these are the giant swaths and that. But, yeah does the job in that. So, alright, fair enough. Let's go and attach you. So, you slide across into the distance, into the sugar king field. And, yeah, now let's go and grab the rake. So, yeah, again, the, I forgot to go over the cost of that, but 500 for the 3 meters, a grand for the 3 and a half meters, and one and a half grand for the 4 meters, so. If you're doing like a vintage survival kind of challenge or something like that, or vintage farming, sort of from Jack crap and that, then really this is an awesome mod to have. So, so see, you got to sort of be careful of how it goes because yeah, it can just go swing all over the place. Yes, it's been me right round. But yeah, so turn this on. Oh, so we are. Supposedly, wind rowing. Is that wind rowing or is that a tether? So, right. <laughs> that is a tether. Yeah, I've got the mix up, so let's go grab the rake. Of course, <laughs> see, this is still going, so. Hopefully, this should be the wind rower. I know what these were the wind rowers, so. Turn you on. And is that tethered again? I swear I swear both of those were tethers on well, those sorry wind rowers, but bear me a sec whilst I quickly purchased a, another one. So right, got the wind rower as you can see, probably just including these a couple of short clips, so unfold the wind rower. And actually you know what? Let's go to our yeah, let's go to your straw here, so turn it on. And it's wind rowing. There we go. Well, this actually was a bit of a cock up on my part, that. But to be honest, it's a possibility, but something I wouldn't have allowed. But yeah, you can see it works, it swaps it and it just moves it over to the edge, so fine now we know that works. Now let's go to our grass field over here, so yeah, see if it actually works now, so turn you on. Oh yeah, now it's all working, so yeah, maybe it must be a cock up on my part now, I swear that wasn't the case, but anywho, at least we know it's working now, that's all that matters at the end of the day. So yeah, this is the Lizard PZK765 Star Pack. This is by Swoyshker Prezies. Next. Now on to something a little bit more modern. Nice little bit of kit here. This is the Flatliner FL350. This is by Hungry Bull. 5.49 megabytes to download. 5 slots on console. And essentially what this is, is a 3.5 meter subsolider. Cost 25 grand, 150 horsepower requirement, and a work speed of 12 
Clumps power with a brand configuration of Convergent or Great Plains. And yeah, you'll find this under Tools and Subsoilers. Go towards the end. So yeah, brand, so you've got Convergent, Great Plains. And support trans colours, so you've got your red, green, black and white. So that just basically is the supports. Nothing else. But yeah, so it's going to get us hooked up. But yeah, like saw this on the mod hub, and I thought, hey, at least it's not another three meter cold beer in that. But yeah, like when you compare it to the, the other sub stories you see on the mod hub, it is very modern. So obviously, you got your like your plow here, also, you got like, your little roller discs here, and that. So let's go and drop this a sec. And yeah, it says Cold Veronat, L1R1, nothing apart from Raisin and Lurin. And yeah, heading to the field. And you can see we're leaving that, obviously doing the subsoiling. Also, I'm just curious. I mean, it's very obvious now. Does this do anything in terms of classifying the seabed and that, so... Go into over here, and we have a look. That should be different. So that is, if my eyes are not deceiving me. Yeah. So that is cultivated. All right. Fair enough. And if you look at mulchins, that anything to do with that? Nope. Wouldn't have anything to do with rolling, obviously, in that. But now, nah, just a nice little bit of care. I thought we just a bit curious with the little disc arrows and that on the back. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's a subsoilier, three and a half meter cultivator. Doesn't do the plowing in that. Regardless, nice little bit of kit here. So yeah, this is the Flatliner FL350 by Hungry Bull. Next. Moving on to more of our trailer loaded off mods. So, first of all, we got the Agricultural Transport Trailer. This is by Giant FS. 2.25 megabytes to download. Slot count is three slots goes down to one. Costs only five grand to purchase. And yeah, essentially, what this is is a loaded trailer. You can use it to stack your bells or whatever on. Well, or, if you will, I did, load up a combine. And yeah, I got the C770, but if you want to go with the larger combines, you really are going to struggle with anything like the X9, it's like 250s and that. You're going to struggle to get the combine on, especially with the ramps and that. But regardless, so you'll find this under tools, under low loaders, towards near the end. So yeah, 3.6 tons, 3 slot screws down to 1. Make our options, so you got custom black, blue, red, green, yellow, orange. And then you got your base game colours. So that changes that. And also you got your rim cutter, so that's the four wheels in or oh, sorry, eight wheels in the middle. So yeah, let's go and hop into our little massy here, because yeah, this is something a bit interesting as well. I like with a lot of trailers we're looking at. For one reason or another, and that. But yeah, so... It's up to the one with our harvester on. That activates and deactivates the locks. So yeah, all that does is just stops it from basically coming off in that. So yeah, that is on, so... Let's get up to speed a sec, so... Actually, you know what? Let's get one of my faster tractors than that for this. Nope, not these. Not you. There we go. Let's grab our Unreal John Deere here. Because, yeah, this gets up and go, like 3 miles an hour. Because, yeah, we're to hold the activated locks and that. Basically, that what it means the socks, the combine, or whatever you got on from flying off. So, yeah, get hooked up. So, what I want to do is 
Press L1 R1. Right stick down, that's going to do the ramps. And yeah, so if go like so. See, the train does tip in that, but the harvester's not coming off. And we take the tension belts off. So, still got the activating locks on. And you can see, it does not come off. However, press L1 and X, so that's deactivates the locks or the little chocks. And let's say, ooh, let's go for a hard turn. There goes the combine harvester. So yeah, it's sort of, in a way, aspect of tension belts without the visual look of tension belts. But yeah, with the ramp, so that's L1, R1. Right stick up and down. And when you lower all the ramps, the little logs come down, sort of race the back end. And we give it up. There we go. And now that, that's for the actual John Deere here itself. But yeah, there's also a little bit of kit here. And a nice little cheap load loader. Transport pretty much any equipment you want in that. So. Let's go and. There you. So L1, R1. Right stick down. Hop into our Massey. And yeah. The only thing is the ramps aren't adjustable, which in the real world makes sense in that. But you can pretty much get anything on here that like, even like small bit hinders in that. Large tractors aren't a problem in that, because yeah, this is a medium tractor. I ain't got on it just fine. It's only when it comes to the very large combine. So things like these, not an issue. Soon as you go into your X9s, 9250s like and all that. That is when you start having issues, so L1 R1, right stick up. And yeah, so you can have that tension belts on, so tension belts on, and a deactivated lock. Ah yeah, also see how that does. Ah, interesting these locks and that activate as the tension belts because Yeah, with those tension belts, without those, well you need those for like bells and that. But you need those activated locks and that to keep your equipment on. So, a little bit of information to know. And yeah, that is the Agricultural Transport Trailer by Giant FS. Next, we're going to be looking at our controversial mods of the day, as you know, or as of yesterday, as I'm recording this now. So, right, as I mentioned, controversial mods and that. So, first of all, we're going to be looking at the one that ain't as controversial. So, this is the Lizard Toad Traders by Castan18. 4.53 megabytes to download. Four slots for console goes down to one. And yeah, as with the last one we just looked at, finds under low loaders. There you go, six grand to purchase. Got floor, no or yes. Rim colors, chrome, silver, and black. Weighs one and a half tons. I mean, yeah, this is redesigned for the Lizard Rumbler 2 car, which we'll be looking at in a second. I'm going to do these separately in that. So, yeah, it's got a ball hitch or pin hitch support in that. And unlike with the other trailer, which I forgot to mention, it does have a pin hook attacher on the back. So, yeah, you can pair more trailers or equipment over together so really something you use that for your combine and have a header trailer on the back but yeah back to the two trailer and that so you can't see a attacher on the back and yeah so in terms with the ramps and that so an option to off or sorry fold and unfold so let's go to do those no, that's for that, actually. Sick. It's alright, we've got our Massey here now, just because we'll get confused with the controls and that. So, yeah. I show you fold and unfold like so. Also, you have an option to just lift and lower the front. Sorry, lift and lower the loader. But I am not sure what that is. Can't see anything at the back. 
try folding. Is there something to do with the wheels? Can't hear anything, and yeah, I'm not sure if I'm missing something with this. So I do apologise to Kassan18 if I am missing something. Maybe what about if we get a tractor on? So yeah, so just about get a normal tractor on. Yeah, I would put a combine on here because, as you can see, we are limited in space. So what I'm going to do is fold you, and yet again, lifting and loading the low loader. Yeah, I'm just not sure what that is, so anyway, so let's take this on the road and that. And unlike with the other tray we just looked at, there's no like active locks, chocks or anything, or tension belts, so it's going to go flying off. Actually, to be fair on that, it does hold up quite well. And yeah, even with our turbo attached. Yeah, so... I'm actually interested with this, we don't have that fold and unfold option. Now that's for the John Deere and that. So yeah. Okay, actually let me swap something to a little bit different here, because, yeah, I'm not too sure exactly what what the heck is going on here. So, alright, yeah, got another tractor now, and, yeah, so the actual looks better now, doesn't stick out like a sore thumb now, but, yeah, now we're having the fold and unfold it over, but nothing else. And yeah, there's like nothing securing this on, so let's just get up to speed in that and then go do the scanning flick. Alright, so now like I'm not sure if I include the clip of the this one flying off. But now Okay, alright, screw that, so I'm not sure why it was a bit temperamental in that. Yeah, because yeah, okay, okay, I'm using ball tractors on oh, it's that, apart from the Massey here. Tell me that is space game. But... Okay, let's well unfold this. Would this then fly off? Ah, alright, now I get it. So, if you're using a tractor that says fold and unfold and raise or whatever it was, then... Like with the Massey was, I think it was, then... That's probably why it stays on, because yeah, that's how it should be then, I'm assuming. Alright, now I get it. <laughs> Alright, fair enough, I was a bit of a long-winded, but regardless, that is the Lizard 2 trailer by Castan18. Now on to something that is virtual, and yep, yeah, I will be voicing my opinion on this, so stay tuned for what I think of this. And... This is the Rumbler 2 car, also by Castan 18, 5.92 megabytes of download. And yep, yeah, as of recording this, and yeah, recording this now on Wednesday, sorry, not Wednesday, Tuesday, and yet yeah, we're still removed from the mod hub. I've tried to get in touch with Castan 18, nothing official has come out as of yet, and let me just quickly check now since I've started recording this. Alright, so. What I'm going to say about what I found, like, yeah, because I, I follow Cassan official, that's Cassan 18's official Facebook page, and only thing that he has posted himself is a little fun, funny meme of, so the war continues, so I'm going to explain what I found after reaching out in that, and looking on Facebook and other sources of media about this. I made you a separate video on this because... Long story short, this is fucking me off. I am absolutely annoyed by a certain modder or modders and that. But yeah, I'm going to discuss that afterwards. But anyways, on to the actual mod itself. So yeah, Rumble 2 car, 5.92 megabytes of download. Slot count is 7, goes down to 1. 
And yeah, if this pops up back on Mod Hub, you'll find this under your cards. So yeah, 52 grand to purchase, 300 horsepower, 150 litres of fuel, 49 miles an hour, and a top weighs 4.1 yeah, tons. And yeah, like with the trailer we just looked at, you've got your flooring options, like so. Comes with your ball hitch support trailer. Basic cutter options, so your design cutter is your cab, and then you got your rims. But yeah, overall this is a nice little bit, so hop into the interior, so we're in left hand drive, so it's basically like a Ford Transit drive. It'd be nice to see like a right hand drive option down the road and that, but I'm full fan, open covers and that, so that's for the back and that. But yeah, lights, decent interior and that, bit of a choppy on the mirrors and that, but regardless. So yeah, lights, left indicator, right indicator, same in the back, left, right, lights, or reverse lights. So yeah, what we just looked at, so press L1 next, that unfolds these ramps, and then L1, lift on the D-pad, so turn the engine off. Got these like a, these little wheel chocks here, so I want to see actually what we can fit on here. So, I, yeah, actually, yeah, I do have this little setup here going. So, so yeah, we got obviously the Rumber Van or the Rumber Two car. Sorry, remember this is 300 horsepower. We got the trailer attached, along with a Fed Fire 314. And the Massey Ferguson SS710. And yet, yeah, this thing has a get up and go. Okay, maybe a little bit slow on the acceleration, but for a 300 horsepower engine, we're pulling a crack to see what comes off. So yeah, that all comes fine off, but, but yeah, maybe because I'll be setting this up, so let me. Get this unfolded. Correct the combine here. So I right, got the combine here, so build this fit on. Hmm, I am not sure about that. But yeah, get rid of those wheel chops. But yeah, there's no like, tension belt support or anything. And yeah, so try to get this baby lined up. How are we looking? Make sure we're too fat, we're too wide. Fair enough, fair enough. It's not designed for combines and that. But yeah, what about the Massey here? So, get you started. You flipped over. So, let's try the reverse and all that. So, there we go. Versus baby on. So yeah, we're on. But yeah, the idea of these are these little wheel chocks here, so So what we can do next is I'm assuming is Yeah, we're on the wheel chock, so I'm not sure how far over it's supposed to be on, so Let's try something like that. So we're on it, we're elevated. Because, yeah, there's no. big way off. Oh, nope, not that. Get rid of those. It's down. So, yeah, there's like a little winch system here, but I've got the Phantom expansion in that. But, yeah, that'll be a good idea to have like a functional winch in that, but. Yeah, overall, towing a truck, well, pulling a tractor in that. Okay, it does have a bit of a lean in that, I'll admit. But yeah, as long as you just don't go crazy with it. Yeah, you'd be absolutely fine in that, so... Now let's go crazy. And just do it again, a little scanning flick. Ah, actually, it doesn't come off, so... So yeah, you can sort of see. 
squeezing it and that's and it stays on so yeah I saw people struggling with this so yeah what you're going to need to do is get the vehicle on put your chocks on fold ramps and then yeah but yeah we was like we didn't do a three wheel one wheel turn in that whatever it was but yeah, awesome bit of kit and that, so yeah, this is the Rumble 2 car, and now for the rant and discussion, so, yep, yeah, as mentioned, as of recording this 16 hours ago, Castan, official Castan 18, has posted, hmm, so the war continues with a funny cat mo emoji photo, whatever, but yeah, going through the comments, and at the moment there are four... And some of them are very interesting, so yeah, a lot of it is complaining and that, but one user and that, which I'm not gonna say their name in that here publicly, but feel free to look for yourself on Cassan's official Facebook and that. But yeah, so as my assumption, this is my own assumption, this is by DD Mob Passion, but because of with the issues with the rumber vans before being constantly removed from the mod hub. It was DD Mob Passion making complaints, as far as I'm aware of that, I'm 99% sure of that. And yeah, I remember Camp Service Bureau, I knew I commented on, on the time about this issue and that, but I think it was something to do with a, like a visible block or something, or a weird visible collision, whatever it was, that was causing issues and that. And I'm guessing that's why this got removed and that, because of these little visible collision blocks and that. Again, I don't know, that is my assumption and that. But regardless, on to this official, which I'm going to call JP and that. So, yeah, they think it's DD Mob Passion. Because, yeah, when they contacted DD Mob Passion ages ago, when the rubber van got removed and that, or whatever it was. Yeah, basically, DD Mob Passion was accusing of Castan official of stealing and that. Of course, I was interested about this. So I was going to ask for comments and that. But yeah, pretty much what it is this person here, they've deleted the conversation and blocked DD Mob Passion for being host. So, unfortunately, DD Mob Passion's out again. And yeah, it's something I absolutely fucking hate in that because DD Mob Passion has some awesome mods. And I mean, some awesome mods on the mod hub. And uh, she's doing a quick look now on the mod hub. They, they, they do have some awesome mods in that, so having a quick look so yep yeah, actually having a proper look now so in terms of consoles of course you got the rumbler flatbed which i'm not going to be using things like wood loader trays and that your hydraulic sheds and that your crusetto packs and that um your e-tunnel e-tunnels and that some awesome mods and yeah have a quick look you also got your Pallet additional features, your tool height control mod in that, your seat add ons in that. I know they do some PC mods in that, but I'm not going to go over those. And yeah, and yeah, I think to be honest, it's sort of the biggest one, the one I'm using at the moment. But as of going forward, as of this mod review, now I'm going to be boycotting DD Mod Passion, is the CSZ pack. So things like, yeah, we're going to your CSZ pack and that. So yeah, all of these here by DD Mod Passion. Awesome mods in FS19, but as of now, I am going to be boycotting this. I'm going to be unsorting the mod in that. Because yeah, my assumption is it is DD Mod Passion. Yeah, as of officially what's been publicly known, what has been made by Castan and DD Mod Passion publicly with some evidence. Nothing's been said, but we know it was DD Mod Passion making these false accusations before or maybe they were some maybe they were actual accusations and there was a minor thing in that which got fixed in that but now DD Mod Passion is once again making complaints complaints to Giants reporting the mods and in fairness to Giants I am not having to go at Giants with this with Giants if they receive a complaint about a mod being stolen which is a fucking serious thing and something I absolutely hate in that like this is why I'm glad to be on console sometimes, because using third party websites, yeah, 
unless you actually know what websites you're using in that. Yeah, there are a lot of that in terms with third party mod hub sites. And yeah, I know there's actual official recommended third party sites in that, but regardless, that's not what I'm going to be on about. But yeah, at the end of the day, it just takes a piss in that. But yeah, unfortunately, that's pretty much all of it I can say now. Like, we you know it was DD more passion who complained last time. I've got no reason to suspect it was someone else this time around, unless I'm proven wrong of which I am. By the time this comes out today on Tuesday, I will move this bit here. Or what I'll do is I'll make another video apologizing to DD more passion or whoever. But yeah, as of now. Yeah, at the end of the day, I'm fucked off about this. And yeah, I'm not blaming Giants. Giants got to take these complaints seriously. And yeah, there has been on instances with FS22, with mods being stolen and uploaded onto the in-game mod, mod hub. And on top of my head, the one I can think of right now is... I can't remember the exact details. It was something to do with Adam's call with the lorries and that. I don't think it was something to do with A2 Studio. I know A2 Studio had issues with people stealing their mods and that. But I don't think it was Adam's Con. Unless it was, then I was mistaken now. I'm not sure. I think, they're too, I think the issues with A2 Studio and Adam's Con back in the day were separate than that. But again, I could be wrong. But anyways. Rant over. Back on to the mod review. So yeah. The Rumble 2 car by Kassan18. Next. So right, we're at the store and we're looking at the TLX Hoarders or Hoarders Platform Pack. This is by A2 Studio. And yeah, as I'm recording this, I had this set up on Monday, so at the time there's only support for one vehicle, and that was the TLX 2022 series update. However, as I record this on Tuesday. A2 Studios other mods of the 3500 and 982 special have been updated and they do support this now so yeah if you look at the change logs and that so actually no sorry looking at the TX Horrors pack at the bottom it says compatibi compatibilities of the TLX 982 version 2.1 the 3500 series 1.4 so they're released today, and I'll be looking at those in today's mod review video, which is today's today's mod review video, not not this yesterday's mod review video that's coming out today on Tuesday. Sorry if I was confused in that, but anyway, so as of sent up from Monday, it only supports the 22 series, and that is the logistic holders short bed. So yeah, I'm just going to just move this forward a sec, so... There we go. That's moved out of the way, so yeah. This is a pack of... It's basically similar to the... Uh, like, the record pack and that we had by A2 Studio. Tools and miscellaneous. So yeah, I'm just going to cut over here, so... Yeah, you got your Hot Shot XL. Your Hoarder XL Detachable Tone Unit. Your horror bed XL and your horror bed and as of setting this up, this one on the right was the only one that was supported, but now in a separate video, which I'm gonna go over and that is all support and that so yeah, ignore the past context and that, but in terms with slot counts and that, so slot counts are four, two, ten and ten. So four, two, ten and ten slots. So yeah, the horror beds and that, they got diesel tanks, along with the Hot Shot XL, and the detachable unit does have the winch support and it can pull up to 20 tons. Of course, that requires the platinum expansion. So yeah, with the Hot Shot XL, got your lights at the back. Actually, sorry, the lights are on the top, so you got LED lights or normal lights. Fender design, design 1, design 2, main cutter of all, all of 82 studio options. And yeah, that little bit of a voice crack there, so... And yeah, then you got your fenders, like so. Then your TX Holder DTU bundle. So that comes with the actual towing bit 
at the back so that little thing in the yellow yeah once again LED lights yes or no or spotlights emergency light bar or none design color you got five designs so you got standard corrugated metal flat like stainless steel metal I think it is a bit of more rugged metal rusted metal main color changes the body and your design color changes the towing unit so pick a purple like so then your horror bed again same with the lights same design and yeah so on its own don't have fuel capacity but you do have a service rack with a 1500 year fuel capacity main color option changes that and yep yeah, it is the same with the whole beds just without the fuel capacity so yeah I'm gonna go to our TLX22 here go to the one that I only had working as I've set this up so this is the whole bed so there we go so yeah have a look here also you got your ball hitch and that on the back That's the pick up and that. So yeah, there's no like tension belts or anything like that. Yeah, to be honest, I don't think there's nothing. Yeah, unless I'm missing something that. It's basically just a bed and that. There's no like tension belts or anything like that. Okay, not that one. Yeah, I thought one of these had tension belts, but no, that's got a fifth or hitch. But yeah, maybe in the news this will be fixed and that, so let me re-look at this in the next video coming out. But regardless, so that is the TLX Holders Platform Pack by A2 Studio. Next. Now for the Lizard Magnum 2022. This is by JD Arc, 10.17 megabytes to download. And yeah, essentially what this is, is a Orgo Wagon. 8 slots for console goes down to 1, costs 54 grand, capacity of 27,500 years. And you'll find this under your tools and auger wagons. Head towards the end, 54 grand, and it says a working speed of 12 miles an hour. And yeah, it basically it carries your basic grains along with your corn, soybean, seed, and fertilizer, and sunflower. Weighs 9.9 .9 tons, and yeah, it says the required horsepower is 90 horsepower. And yeah, do you have options of standard and wide tires, mission wides, trail bark standards, lizard standards? Actually, I do like those, like, that's why kind of chunky off roady tires. And back to BKTs. And now for decals, you got your old decals, new decals, and back to old. So it depends on what you want to go with. Main colour, got a custom red and then you got the rest of your base game colour palettes. Cover colour, you got a custom white, which compared to the base game white is a more yeah, base game white is more of a shinier white. So let's go and set yellow. Decal colours, set orange, so that's gonna change the banner. So that's with old and that's with the new decals. And then lastly, you got your room colours, which pop into our case magnum. And yeah, simply put, it's a very simple mod than that, but something 90 horsepower requirement, able to carry 27,500 litres. Not too bad, so yeah, L1 and down on the D-pad, so go to bring pipe in and pipe out. And then left on the D-pad, opens and closes the cover. And look at your lights. No reverse lights. Left indicator, right indicator, and turns with the discharging rate. It's actually not too bad. A couple, I'll say about 1500, 2000 years ish a second. I shall say about 1000 years a second. 1000, 15,000. 1500, sorry, not 15,000. Yeah, in terms of steering, it does come with a swivel axle, which I hate. But actually, for an auger wagon, it doesn't 
yeah, four mobile wagon doesn't matter too much. Because, yeah, you'll be using this in fields and that. And with the cover option, now you can store this outside in the yard and that. I didn't necessarily have to put it in a shelter. But yeah, in terms of reversing, it's not too bad reversing. There's been worse sorts of axle trains I've to deal with before and that. But yeah, with the way in that, I'm absolutely useless with that. <laughs> so yeah, so let's all give that a try. But yeah, overall, nice level of detail. Also, you've got your pitot shaft, your hoses. Bring it back forwards. And yeah. Hooks on, hooks off. A little stand thing goes up. So yeah, actually, not too bad. So very realistic. High level of details. Of course, you've got your worn stickers. Got kind of your gauges and that. Made in Argentina and that. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Good quality auger wagon. So yeah, this is the Lizard Magnum 20 and 22 tons, basically. By JD Modern Org. Next. On these recently, we've got another collaboration between Star Brazil and Connect Modding. And this is the Star Reebok Ninja 19000. 10.8 megabytes of download. Slot count is 10, goes down to 1. And yep, similar to what we just looked at, this is a, another auger wagon. You'll find this under tools and auger wagons. 44,000 litres. Requires 100, sorry, 44,000. 19,000 in capacity, requires 120 horsepower, weighs 5.5 tons, and compared to one we just looked at, pretty, yeah, pretty similar in some ways. But yeah, also, it carries basic products seed, fertilizer, corn, sunflower, and your grain. So yeah, going to here, and yep, yeah, it's a one axle auger wagon, and yeah, it's got your tire brands. No other configurations, no different wheel types. But yeah, so overall, first look. Love the level of detail as it is with Connect Modern and Star Brazil. Obviously, Star Brazil is where this is made in Brazil, and Connect Modern is obviously the main modder. Awesome work. Love the level of detail in that. And we'll get sucked up and we'll see how it functions and performs. And at least this time with the one axle, it's a lot easier to park compared to the Magnum we just looked at. If I have to pick between the two, to be honest, I'll pick the Magnum, not just because of better capacity, because it's got this with axle, but regardless, so L1 and left on the D pad. Out. Now we'll see if we can adjust this. I'm assuming we can. So yeah, L1, right stick, left to right, and that is it, and then yes, go and unload, that is a very high unknown speed, about 2,000, I'll say about 2,000 litres a second, and that is what, about 500 litres to 1,000 litres more compared to the Magnum, but yeah, that is a very quick discharge. Put the pipe in, cover on. Overall, not too bad. As I mentioned, love the quality of detail, like with the suspension and all that. So, yeah, that is the Stavra Reebok Ninja 19000 by Star Brazil and eConnect Modding. Next. So, first of all, we've got the John Deere 7R Series 2040. This is by Deins or Deins. 37.34 megabytes to download, 48 slots on console goes down to 2 or 3 I think, we'll have a look at that in a sec. But yeah, so Dean's mods is back on Modhelk, I know a lot of his John Deere mods got removed a while back. Well I think about a couple of weeks ago, so it's good to see those back, along with 7R, and then we'll be looking at the 8R series. But yeah, so, as it is, we'll buy Dean's and that and all of his John Deere mods. Compared to the overwhelmed... Oh, I'll say oversaturation of the market for John Deere mods and that, and I mean, there are literally hundreds, not thousands of mods of John Deere, some way, shape or form, especially the tractors and that. These do come with some special little features and that, and a lot more detail than that. 
Even though I've heard some complaints about these with the sounding not being as realistic compared to real life, I can't vouch for that because I rarely see John Deere's in action and I do, I can't tell if it's 8R, 7R series or whatever. But regardless, you'll find these under large vehicles or large tractors and that. Go towards the end, so you've got 7R series, 249 and 352 horsepower. 545 liters of fuel, 31 miles an hour of top speed, weighs 11 and a half tons, and yeah, 48 slots goes down to 2 for console. So yeah, for your engine setups, you got your 7210R with the command quad, another E28 with the right hand reverser, then you got your 7230R, so that goes up to 269. 7250R, 290 horsepower. 7270R, 305. 7290R, 332. And then that's it, your 7310, 352 horsepower. And back to the 7210. Well, brands, as usual, got all your manufacturers in that. Got different sanders, different wide tires, wise with weights. And yeah, it's just a whole different kinds of like chunkiness and that, different all sorts of pretty much any type of configuration you can have with this pretty much is within the realms of this. Including like narrows and that. Rear narrows, narrows twins. And yeah, trail bar is gonna be all the same that first line. Oh yeah, you get your, your communal tires in that. Now BKTs, I don't see what these are. Oh yeah, I do love my chunkier BKT tires. And then yeah, you got your Gen 4 monitor. So this is going to be in the cab there, so on the right hand side. So yeah, you got your 4100, 4200, 4600. And back to 4100 does cure a little bit of a cost. Now, four additional are pretty much the same besides from the horsepower, so yeah, you got your additional features, so you got your electric bonnet opener, side wiper and that, so that's gonna be on this side here. Then you got your back John Deere window sticker. Then you got your side wiper, black and that electric bonnet, and then yeah, it's got a various off configurations of all three together. Now for your star far, so that's going to be your GPS on top, so none. Got the holders for them. Got the star 3000. 3000 with the GS2630. And that's going to add another little display in the cab. Then got your 6000. 6000 with that little display in the cab. And yeah, got another upgrade model after that. Got your RTKs in that. And yeah, just it's a plethora sort of thousand seven thousands. And that's what I mean, it is a plethora of configurations. I do apologize if I'm not showing these off properly in that. Now for your lights, you got your halogen lights or your LEDs, so that's gonna be those at the front. Now for your additional lights, you got your standard one, so that changes ones on the top. Ugh, camera angles and that's so in store. But yeah, basically on top, next to the stars and that. Second lights, so that's going to bring those next to your indicators. Got a configurations of 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, and 3, or all 3, like so, or back to none. Your fenders, standard black, standard black 2, so a little bit wider, wide, wide 2. Standard back and front old, front new, front old two, front new two, white back and front old, and yeah, <laughs> pretty much like so. So I'm going to talk over everything, and yeah, the difference in the fenders, that's all based on the, the different tire brands and that, the different whips and chunkiness. So very customizable John Deere. This is why I do love these mods by Dinks or Dinks. Now for your mirror, so you got your standard and rear view mirror old. And you got a new rear view mirror, so that's going to be in the cab basically. So yeah, basically on that top there. 
Oh, yeah, with these stars now, they ain't gonna be looking good. But yeah, then next you got your electric mirrors with your own mirrors. Then you got your ultimate mirrors. Your ultimate electrics. Do you like those? And then back to your standard. Seat controls, you got standard. Multifunctional joystick, which does work with the consoles. Even though it's again the multifunctional joystick is a bit of a term in that, I would think, does confuse a lot of people on that. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, beacons and warning signs. So it's at the rear. Warning signs with the left beacon, right beacon, both, or just none. Now for your weights, so you got zero kilogram weights. And that goes up to two tons, I think. No, sorry, 1.15 tons. Got your three-point linkage, or three-point linkage with a PTO shaft, and back to zero weights. Add blue, no or yes. So it's going to change that little thing there on the bottom. Doesn't really do much. It's just more for a cosmetic thing. Well, in real life, obviously, it makes a huge difference. And if you got precision farming, it does come with the Aceria Pro Compact. Yes or no, with an additional 15 grand. Now for your colour, so your seat's got standard, leather, or... I thought I was black, but no standard, or leather. And license plate, and that is it. So, hop into here. Do love the sound of that. Horn. Basic horn. Rear lights, and yeah, this, this ain't the one with the all three lights, we'll look at that other one there in a sec. So you've got your all lights, left indicators, right indicators, and then L1, R1, right sick, left right, and just to see. So this is the multifunctional joystick. And yeah, there we go. So yeah, this is one you've got the crop sensor, so L1 R1 square to turn on your crop sensor. And then yeah. Same functional over there. But yeah, besides from that, nothing else. But yeah, for your additional lights, this is what they look like. So yeah, overall not too bad, not too shabby. Beacons. And yeah, let's go and drive this around. That is pretty loud, that is, so I don't know I'm going to speak up for this bit, but... Oh, that is absolutely beautiful noise. Yeah, in terms of steering and that, it's actually not too bad, like it handles pretty well. I do not want to free and out. So yeah, let's drive this over here. Parking your garbage and that. And if you want to, we can just return it. Uh, actually, it's got to be in that little hazard mark there, so let's go over that. Like so. But yeah, so overall, a nice quality mod in that, so. That is the John Deere 7 r Series 24 and 2019 by Deans. Next, 8R eight, eight Series 2014 by Deans. It is 41.9 megabytes to download, 48 slots for console goes down to 2. And yeah, very similar to 7R we just looked at, so I'd be glad to know over some of the configurations. So if you want to know the all the custom configurations, Look at the timestamp for the 7R series, which was just before this. But anyway, so you find this under Vehicles and Large Tractors. So it goes to 8R, starts at 210 grand. And yeah, so you got your 209 horsepower with your power shift, so 82.5R. Then you got Auto Power, E23, E23 right hand reverser. And then you got your A270, which is 316 horsepower. Different gearbox configurations. A295R, again, 342 horsepower, with those different gearbox configurations. 
next for the 8-3-3-R with the different gearboxes and that. And then I think lastly your 8-3-45-R. Original horsepower, and no, that was not the last one. Now for the A three seventy R four hundred twenty horsepower, and then lastly you've got the eighty four hundred R with your different gearboxes, and yeah, that's back down to the A two forty five R. All basic tire configurations, different tire whips and all that, different tires. Uh, so, so yeah, if you want to go over everything, just look back. Now for your gem monitor, so this is going to be in cabinet. So there's just a little tablet there, 4200, 4600. Additional equipment, you've got an electric bonnet opener, side wiper, so that's going to be the side wiper on the right, as seen. Black window stick, side, standard with side wiper. And then, yeah, it's all the different configurations between all three. Now, for Starfire, so this is going to be your GPS, got your holders, 3000, and that goes up to your 7000 with the RTK and your G5. So, yeah, it's just, again, it's just different tablets of that in the cabinet on, on top with the GPS on top. The lights, you've got your halogen lights or your LEDs. Additional lights, you've got one, so that is on top of the cab, two, on top of the indicators, three, next to the mirrors, and then a mixture of both. Fenders, standards and that, and it goes up to like, your wides and that. Gone over this with the 7R series, so feel free to look at those. And yeah, it's all based on the different tyres you're using that. Different wise, different wise with weights, different narrows or normal tires and that. So yeah, it's just a rear view mirror there in the cab. Got your electric mirrors. Your ultimate. Your ultimate electric. So yeah, I'm gonna go to those because I'm not sure if I've got those. Seat controls, got your joystick or none. So basically that just means you can swivel on your chair and that. Beacons and warning signs, left, right, both one size inside the back with left or right or both beacons and your front mounting got no weights and that goes up to 1150 then you got your three point linkage with or without that little p2 shaft as you can see and then back to zero kilogram weights also, I forgot to mention, 7R series is compatible with the John Deere base game, The Forge EZ 1700 weight. But yeah, overall, not too bad of a kit, so hop into here, so engine. Not too bad, horn. Basic horn, so in cab, L1, R1, right stick, left to right, just as your seat position. And then up and down. If you go outside, that adjusts the front suspension. So L1, R1, and up with the right stick, lowers it. And then down with the right stick, raise the suspension up. And if you've got position farming, L1, R1, and square also. that so yeah it should have the electronic bonnet opener right so how about the one at the store now so turn you off forget about all those that's just a typical mod review of me it is 
So bear with me a sec. About the electric bond in that, so yeah, it's turning the engine on, that's got the maximum of the like, star and stuff and that. But yeah, nothing for the mirrors or anything, just yeah. Just on the joystick and that. And raising no just suspension apart from that. Nothing else to see. So yeah, that is the John Deere 8R Series 2014 by Deans. Now we we'll head to our final model of the day. Now for our final model of the day, we got the MF87 or Massey Ferguson A7. This is by Deutsche Volt. 29.32 megabytes of download. Slot count is 17, goes down to 1. And this is an old and, for console at least, the cheapest combined harvester you can have. 63 horsepower, 80 years of fuel, 3 meters of work width, comes with the header already attached to it, so detachable unit or anything. Costs only 40 grand and top speed of 19 kilometers per hour. And you'll find this under your vehicles and harvesters. Go to the end, so yeah, 40 grand, 8 litres, and it can do all your basic crops and that, including corn and soybeans. And yeah, goes down to one slot, working speed of 3 miles an hour, weighs 5.3 tonnes. And yeah, go into the configuration, so you've got your standard wheels, standard 2, and back to standard, so if you want chunky rims or not, or chunky wheels. Now for your stickers, you got your old, your new, or your old. And now for your design, so this is going to be like the chopper unit at the back, so you got one, two, so yeah, two is going to give you that sort of like chopping effect. And for your colours, you got red, 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 or red. But yeah, there are differences, so this is your normal red. Red two, a little bit brighter. Red three, a little bit darker. And that is darker than red one. Red four is like a... And to be honest, red four and red five are very similar. Well, this is how it's come across on my screen. Yeah, so red 4 and 5 are very similar of a bright red. But regardless, so hop into here. So, as you see, it is an external combine. So, yeah, you're not protected from the dust or anything. So, a little thing to note. And yeah, so turn on the engine. This is going to be very loud. And yeah, overall's not too bad. Got your controls. Bit so now, obviously. So, do you have indicators left and right indicators? At rear. And you have some at the front, but yeah, who's gonna actually notice those? Yeah, so, back into the cab. So, yeah, do you have option for straw swath? Yeah, so L1 and down on the pad. Creaks up, point out. And then, yeah, lower your header. And then L1, right stick up and down, adjusts the height of your header. And you can set it automatically to unloaded on the ground if you wish. But yeah, we're not going to do that, so let's go into here. And start harvesting our weeds here. So yeah, this is a very slow combine. Three, four, one. Sure. And then if we turn sure swap off. So I've done that out to the side. As mentioned, you can just automatically unload it onto the ground if you wish. So yeah, that's that. And do we have a cornfield? Yes we do. So let's go over there and have a little look. But yeah, I am interested to see how it does with the corn in that. Especially being a all-in-one unit, because there's no detacher or anything, so... Yeah, I am a little bit curious. So there we go, we're at the cornfield now. And yeah, can you harvest the corn? Fresh corn in that. And no, you can. It says it's can, but I'm not sure if it's because of a setup thing or what. 
bit of sauce off and that. Try that. No. But yeah, I assumed it was a normal combine now, you know. I'm guessing it could fill up with corn if it was a detachable unit. But yeah, looking at the designs and that, there's no corn head or anything. It's all about. Yeah, really, it's all about that straw swath at the back. Let's try that, so. Just keep it standard and all in that. Let's give that a go. So, yeah, the answer to that is no. There's no impact or anything on that, so I guess it could fill up with corn. You just can't harvest corn unless there's a detachable unit for this in a future update, maybe. I don't know. Well, that, that's just my tobacco tin crashing down. So yeah, overall, a nice combine now, like, onto the bond itself, it is very good, high level of detail now, for an old, what, an old little combine, especially things like once you get it running, the little belt working now, you see it, it's all working from the outside, that is very neat, the belt system and that, so yeah, that is all of our mods for Monday the 27th, and yeah, this is coming on the 28th, along with Friday's mods, and today's mods, I'm going to get out recording now, it is quarter past nine, well, a couple of hours before I need to go to bed and that, so, yeah, very small mod drop today we had, so, yeah, shouldn't be too bad, because I think it's like one, two, three, four, five mods, along with the updates to the TLX series and all that, so, I'll get that, and I'll also do, actually there's another update which is a console release, and yep, I'll go over the TLX holders platform pack and that in the next video, that's going to come up shortly, but anyways, as always, if you found this helpful and forward to it, if so, smash the button, feel free to down below, if you want to share some, please be my guest, if you're not, subscribe to the channel yet, then please consider, but for you to do, hope you know say, but for now, it's me former Everwood stream, and I'll see you all uh, very soon.